Hello and welcome to the Gregorian calendar. This is a site we're all familiar with. 12 months with alternating 30 day and 31 day cycles except when it's 28 and 365 days except when every 4 years it jumps to 366 and 28 becomes 29. There are many more rules to follow, but for the average person, this is enough. The Gregorian calendar was named after Pope Gregory XIII and was introduced to the Christian world in October of 1582. But to the observed viewer, the Gregorian calendar is by no means perfect. The ever so popular leap year is skipped every millennia, except when it's divisible by 400. So 2000 was a leap year, but 1900 wasn't. And then there is the ever troublesome leap second, which doesn't follow a set rule, but is inserted when necessary. Of course, the Gregorian calendar has been updated every so often, but nothing major. So with almost all things, there comes a time to update it. Shown here is a very similar looking calendar, but if you take a closer look, you'll see that none of the months have any weird loose ends or bits cut off. All months have exactly 28 days, and to accomplish this, the calendar now has 13 months. Exciting, I know. This new calendar is called the International Fixed Calendar, also known as the Cotsworth Plan or the proposed New Standard Year. Here are some key points why this calendar is better than the Gregorian calendar and would be easy to replace. First, let's take a look at the individual months. Each month has exactly 4 weeks, each week still being 7 days. So now the general definition of a month is 4 weeks long actually is true. But now another thing has happened. Since every single month is exactly the same length, the 19th of any month of any year will always be on a Thursday. So next time someone tells you to meet them on the 19th next month, you'll know exactly that it's the third Thursday of the next month. Much easier to remember. But wait, you dear viewers say, I just took out my calculator and 365 isn't divisible by 28. And if you said that, you would be right. 364 is divisible by 28, so to overcome this tiny issue and to make New Year's Eve that much more special, an extra day at the very end of each year is added, bringing us full circle. Now New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, is actually an entirely separate day, even technically speaking, its own separate month. But calling a one day month a month would be madness all over again, so we probably shouldn't. Leap years are now extra special as well. Instead of giving the poor, underused February an extra day out of sorrow, the extra day goes to New Year's Eve, making it even more special than it already was, making it a weekend-long celebration of the oncoming year. The skip millennia rule still applies, and the divide by 400 rule also still exists, because we still have 365 days. We can't just magically correct Earth's rotation to be perfectly aligned to its orbit around the Sun, although we never know what the future will hold for us. Hey, thanks for watching! If you think the International Fixed Calendar is a great idea and should totally be implemented right now, go ahead and share this video with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, or wherever else you might keep in touch. Also, maybe give it a thumbs up if you like my explanation of the fixed calendar and would like to see more about wildly new ideas that would fix a lot.